to model the top portion of the box, I will use the same set of lines that I previously used. So let's take a stroll and select these lines again. Let's stroll it in this vector in both the directions. What I am doing is I am matching this edge with this edge. I will use offset face command. from all the four sides a little bit more this seems fine from here also now I will press ok now I do not want these extra students that is this and this I only want it up to this level, this one and this one. So let's take offset face command again. And offset this face in the opposite direction. 38, 37. 36.5 36 I think 36 is matching everywhere yeah so let's take 36 only okay and from the above I will do it in opposite direction You can also do it by keeping it in front view. Thirty four, thirty five. Yes, we are near. Let's see thirty four point five. No, thirty five will work. I press OK. Now this portion is extra, so I can trim it using trim body option. Select this body and select this face. Now press OK. Now need to apply blend at these four corners. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let's do it. But before that, let me show you something. Now if I see the blocks from the front side, I will observe that this top portion is made in two parts here that means I have to split the body from this plane so let's do this first and then apply blend I will choose split command from here select this body with this plane You can also do it by keeping this view. As you can see, I need to shift the plane to the above. Now if you find it difficult, you can also change the background of this environment. Here's how. Menu, Reference, Background, Black. If I observe, my split plane, which is this one, is at the light location. What I will do now is, I will offset this face. And this face will be stationary here. So let's do offset face command. Menu, insert, offset face. Give the direction, 
डिक्रीज दिस वैल्यू I need to decrease its value a little bit more. Four, I mean four will do. Let's check. We can also adjust this later. Now let's apply the radius. I increase the value a bit more. Eighteen. Eighteen will work here. Now, as you can see, this edge will have a blend value greater than this one. How much? Four mm. Because I have offset this surface four mm. So this blend was eighteen mm. So this needs to be eighteen minus four. That is fourteen. Here also, at the last edge, here press OK. As you can see, the corners are matching. You can always adjust this value because our modeling is parametric. Okay. Now I'll apply graft at all the edges because this face is meant to be in angle. So let's choose graft command from here. Select this vector, which is Z, and these edges. Now find some value for the reference. For example, twenty, thirty. I am keeping my eye here. Let's select again this vector. And this tangent curve, thirty, thirty-five. I think thirty-five will work. Yes, it is matching from everywhere. So now press OK. See it from the front. Yes. Now there is a blend at the top here. So I need to apply blend at this edge. Let's apply. Now I need to place a blend that will overlap here and here. So let's see. Five. A little bit less. Four. Let's see four. Four point two five. Now four point two five will also do. Let's see four point five. Yes, four point five seems better because I have a matching here and here, a little bit here, and this can be also matched with some trials. So assuming it is fine, let's move forward. Now you can see that I fully made this box. But there is one thing left. It is not hollow from the inside. So to make it hollow from the inside, I will use shell command, which can be found here. Now, as an example, I am taking the shell of one point five mm and hide this body for a while. Before that, I will unite the bodies together. 
you add this body with this one and this body with this one and hide, hide the top level. Now I will apply the shell of 1.5 on this face. 1.5. Now if you want, you can match the inner scanning of this part. Let me show you. If I apply 2, here you can see the inner scan is also matching. That means 2 is the actual value of this component. Let's see. 2. And bring the rest body from the other page. I will also apply the same command that is shell here on this face 2mm ok now press ok now I need to subtract this portion with this box so I will choose subtract command choose this body with this body to keep in mind I want to keep my tool at present now press ok so as you can see if I hide this portion my box is fully modeled now we can unite both the bodies this one with this one now even though I have modeled the box fully but I have matched all my surfaces with your scan data. What you need to at the last or while you make the model is to measure the edges or the things that are measurable and then apply those features like this. You can find the length of the box by using the vernier caliper. Place one jaw here and second one here. Similarly, you can also measure the width of the box. Measure here and here. Now, if you have a radius gauge, you can also measure the radius of this box at various levels, like here. And if you have a bigger radius gauge, you can also measure the bottom radius of this box, that is here. Now, this was for reference only. If you need to be accurate with your modeling first practice your modeling techniques as much as possible and when you attain the confidence try modeling it precisely now this model is not accurate this is because this was only for the instructions now as we go forward we will increase both our precision and techniques now you can keep this box and hide everything else. I will keep this box and hide everything else. Now, as you can see, our box is fully modeled. You can apply some radius here also, or as the component demands.